What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's Convict Mischief here. And what am I doing? What am I doing? Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Comcast. Comical Mischief, Mr. 5150, YMDLU.com. Got on my subscriber shades, of course, as always. How are y'all doing? Uh, I am coming to y'all from the iPhone. Man, I love this device. Uh, but let's get serious right quick. Uh, I want to talk about something that that is bothering me, you know, and and I think about it all the time because I see it all the time. I see it on the Internet. I see it on TV. I see it in person every single day. What I want to talk to you all about is the time that we live in right now. You know, the, 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 the age that we live in right now. You know, this age, this, this, this time that we live in, accepts mediocrity. It accepts music that teaches our, our children to be whores. Teaches the young ladies that it is okay to perform sexual acts and then upload it to the internet because you can get many many followers on Twitter many many subscribers on YouTube many many friends on Facebook the time that we live in right now accepts the fact that people make music that that indulges in in satanic rituals People like that. People don't want to progress anymore. They don't want to put in hard work to grow. They want an instantaneous fast food style yesterday. And this is sad. In the time that I grew up in, you had to actually be nice with your rap style, with your rap skill. Nowadays, it don't matter. Because if you got a following, oh, we're going to sign you right now. I blame that in part to the record companies, but they don't care. Because the puppet master is controlling everything. And, you know, we'll never get to that person or those persons. The time that we live in right now says it's okay for females that when they were growing up their mother their grandmother work hard to braid up their long beautiful black long shiny hair when they get older they shave one side off and leave a rooster tail right there that's idiotic but the time we live in accepts that I just don't understand that we come from a time where music was all about love, desire, intimacy, having fun, living life. Now, music is about sex with everybody, spread STDs, let's live for right now, live hard, die young, have fun. It's crazy. The time that we live in right now is just so mixed up. You have people that are afraid to create on their own. They are afraid to step out on a whim and say, look, I'm going to do something nobody else has done or is currently doing right now. So they follow suit. I see a lot of that right here on YouTube. A lot of people go out, they get HD PBRs, Blue Snowball, you know, Sony Vegas. And they want to be like him, 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 and him because he got 50,000 subscribers in two months. So I'm going to do exactly what he's doing. Now, don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with commentating over video games. But bring your own style to the table. Don't try to be like Tom, Dick, and Harry. Because Tom, Dick, and Harry got their own style. But I see this time and time again. The time we live in now accepts mediocrity I say that again the day and time that we live in right now accepts mediocrity we live in a time where people brag people brag about being from a city a state 
with the highest murder rate. They brag about things like this. Instead of bragging about making it out of that city or that state with the highest murder rate. It's sad. You know, it seems like it's blind leading the blind here. And as a black man, yeah, I said it because if you can't see, I'm black. I pride myself in being unique here on YouTube. Yeah, I started out, you know, doing gameplays and almost denying my creative side. But then it took over, and here I am. And I don't care if people don't like me. I don't care if people don't subscribe to me. I don't care if people don't comment on my videos because I'm not like Tom, Dick, and Harry. To be honest with you, I thank them for not commenting or stopping by to even watch my videos. Because those are the people that I don't want to even come in contact with. Because they're used to mediocrity. Basicness. Simpletons. You understand what I'm saying? I am one like no other. You won't find nobody else like me. You understand what I'm saying? The point of this video is to challenge you all out there. The creators here on YouTube. And you know who you are. If you sit up and you actually think about the, the next creation, i.e. video that you're going to make. You are a creator. Okay? I challenge you to step out on a whim and to do something different. To do something that you haven't always done. Hey, I always said that I would never show my face here on YouTube. But look at me now. I feel comfortable doing this. I love talking to people. Hell, I like to talk, period. You know? But the point of my videos a lot of times is to let it all hang out. Especially with the IQ droppers. It's not meant to really make sense. It is a release. But a lot of people, they don't understand that. So, I would like for you to know now. A lot of my videos are a release. Now, I do both sides. I do crazy, wacky, and I do serious. Just like I'm doing right now. But, I want to reach people that were once afraid to put out a video on YouTube thinking... Oh my goodness, people have never watched my videos because I didn't start way back when. It doesn't matter. If you are unique in what you do, people will find you. It, it might not be the first day, it might not be the first week or the first month, but eventually somebody will find you. Just stop settling for mediocrity. Put yourself out there, take a chance, and win. It happens. You know, a lot of people told me, Comical, you, you'll never get partnered, man. Yeah. <laughs> Got partnered. You know, I'm not making a million dollars a video, but hey, I'm doing what I like. And I'm also, I'm getting a little bit of change off of it. Which is just a bonus. Because the, on cause the only thing that changed about me since I got partnered was my channel name still same comical mischief same mr. 5150 comcast dot com, same person just on a different scene same content so you know we're going on nine nine minutes and uh I want to give a shout out to the people that support me on a daily basis the people that hit me up on Twitter the people that share my videos, people that like my videos, people that comment on my videos, people that just hit me up out the blue. I thank y'all. You know, I wish that I had time to sit up and and call y'all out all out by name, but that's a whole nother video and, and it would take me a long time. But I want y'all to know I appreciate y'all. I appreciate all of the comments, all of the likes, and, and I truly do. I thank y'all. You know, 
me being on YouTube is it's fun but it has afforded me the opportunity to meet a lot of people that I otherwise wouldn't have met so I thank y'all and I hope to continue to make y'all laugh to, to make y'all say hey I didn't think about that I'll be like wow <laughs> I thank y'all very much this is Comcast Mr. 5150 YMDLU.com yeah, um, they lose house.